Hello and good day, everybody. This is Kyla. Today is July 3rd, 2023, and this is the State of Health. Today, we're diving into the world of lung cancer treatment. Now, I'm sure we've all been there. You're in the middle of a game of operation and you hit the buzzer. Well, imagine if that game was real life. That's what it's like for folks with stage 3 non-small cell lung cancer, or NSCLC, a pretty gnarly form of lung cancer that roughly 20% of patients are diagnosed with. Now picture this. You're a contestant on a game show and the host asks you, what is the best treatment for stage 3 NSCLC? Confetti rains down as you realize you don't know the answer because there's no consensus in the medical community. But hold on to your hats, because we might be onto something here. So a bunch of science folks ran this open label, phase 2 trial, with two groups of patients. One group got this new cocktail of nivolumab and platinum-based chemotherapy, while the other group just got the chemo. After the treatment, they all had surgery to remove any remaining cancer. What the researchers were looking for was this thing called a pathological complete response, basically no evidence of cancer in the lung and lymph nodes after treatment. And, drumroll please, 37% of the patients in the experimental group hit that jackpot, compared to only 7% in the control group. Also, more patients in the experimental group were able to undergo surgery, and they had a better overall survival rate at 24 months. And just to add a cherry on top, they also had a lower chance of disease progression or recurrence. But like any good reality TV show, there's a twist. About 19% of the patients in the experimental group experienced grade 3 or 4 adverse events, which are the equivalent of medical plot twists nobody wants. If this was a race, nivolumab and chemo could be our new frontrunner for treating resectable stage 3 NSCLC. But remember, this is just one study and more research is needed before we can crown a winner. Stay tuned for our next episode where we will continue to keep you updated on the newest medical news and research. Until then, remember to keep your curiosity peaked and your stethoscope close. You never know when you'll stumble upon the next big breakthrough. Catch you on the flip side. All right, folks, before you rush off, do me a favor. If you enjoyed what you heard today and want more, jump over to Apple Podcasts and check out State of Health by MedSchool. We're chatting up all things health and the latest medical stuff. Hit subscribe, leave a review if you feel like it, and join our health-loving crew. Trust me, you won't regret it.